So here's a bit of a, uh, a whistle stop tour of uh, some of the electronic projects uh, related to the guitar that I've uh, work, worked on over the years. Um, it's basically kind of three different categories of um, projects. So it's repairs, it's modifications, and it's builds. Um, so I work with uh, effects pedals like these. Um, uh, I've also built a guitar amplifier and I do um, rewirings on, on guitar pickups as well. So just to go, to go into these things in a bit more detail, um, this is an example of a, a repair. This is a, a Qtron uh, pedal that uh, I owned, and I'd kind of written it off. I thought it was basically unsalvageable, and then I had another go at it recently. Um, and the faults, there were quite a number of faults, actually. It took a little while to diagnose, but I needed to replace... Um, a rotary switch here, the, the the jack socket switch needed replacing as well. Oh, sorry, it was this one, and and also this cable had broken. Um, so it was a number of different problems. It took me quite a little while to diagnose that one. Um, some things, some things is very you know you, you can you can work out what's what's wrong immediately, and other things you know it's a bit of requires a bit of detective work. Uh, so this is a, a, a modification. This is an Ibanez Tube Screamer, and this is a, uh, a, a relatively modern one, recent um, version. Uh, but I'd read somewhere that the uh, the vintage ones have the better sound, so I decided to uh, I looked up the circuits and made some changes to the circuit board. Um, so what I did was I I took out that uh this chip here this integrated circuit and replaced it with a with a vintage one and i replaced i can't, I can't remember i think it was a, a couple of capacitors and a resistor over here to change the values and it did improve the sound it made it a bit more sort of warm and uh, and richer so i was very pleased with that um and then there's things like uh these pedals here i've basically built myself so this is a, a Jimi Hendrix I'm very into Hendrix this is a Jimi Hendrix fuzz face pedal um, and it's a very very simple circuit it's just basically two germanium transistors um, it's just a two-stage um, booster basically um, so I could just basically do it on strip board and just sort of solder components in. It doesn't look brilliant, but it's um, but it works and it's got a nice sound. I was very pleased. Uh, these things, if you buy them new, they probably cost like I think the uh, the original fuzz faces are around about hundred pounds now from Dunlop. Um, and this is a Wawa pedal. I had the shell, um, the the case basically, uh, but uh, I didn't have the circuit, so I made made the circuit myself. Um, it's quite a simple circuit, but I decided to do it on a um, on a printed circuit board. So I actually um, made the circuit board myself. I think I got the design off the internet, but I had to actually get a, a copper plate and etch the um, etch the tracks on using um, iron sulfate solution. So there's a bit of chemistry involved in this one. It's a slightly <laughs> a slightly elaborate process, but it looks very neat. Um, it's got a true bypass here. This is something I can do very easily. If you, you know, if you want to, um, you can probably do this yourself. You can just get a um, uh, a double pole, double throw switch from Electro Harmonics or something like that, and install it. Um, it's not a complicated thing to put a true bypass on a wire pedal, and it definitely improves the sound. Um, I did also have a an output buffer here, which I've since taken off I can't remember why <laughs> um, but yeah uh, so so um, you can also do that put an output buffer which also improves the sound quality um, especially when you're pairing it up with other effects and so forth so yeah that was a, another build of my own and this is the probably the most complicated pedal that I built this is a this involved a lot of work so I again I did a I made a printed circuit board here um, and this one involved probably about 150 different 
150 solder joints to get this finished and i was i was amazed when it actually worked because <laughs> i was i thought well i'm bound to mess one up but yeah no it worked first time i was very pleased it doesn't look brilliant but ba sorry this is a um I should explain what it is this is a um mxr um uh, phase pedal which is again a vintage circuit it's the original original circuit you can't get them anymore so i decided to make my own um so yeah and it's i'm very very pleased with the sound it's the it's a nice original sound i added my own little um um so the original one just had the what the single um uh control up here but i had an, an extra control because i wanted a bit more um choice in terms of the range of sounds um i think that's a you know, i can't remember what they do <laughs> i haven't used it for a while uh but it works really well and then uh the biggest project i've i've done um electronic wise is actually building my own amplifier uh this is a um this is it doesn't look like much but my wood, woodworking skills are not very good um but um, what this is, is a hand-wired um, Fender Deluxe Reverb. So it's, I took the, the schematic off the internet. So the circuit is Fender's, I stole that. But the design is my own design. The layout is my own design. Um, I removed uh, the tremolo section so the original the original Fender Deluxe Reverb had a tremolo um, uh, section which I don't I wouldn't really use so I decided to take that out and I also installed a, a master volume switch which is incredibly useful so it means you can play quietly with with really, really good tone um, that's not on the original Fender one but in other respects I think it's identical to a, a hand wired Fender Deluxe Reverb it's got a really nice sound <clears throat> um, so yeah this is a lot of work um a lot of soldering um and a lot of planning and um yeah you've got to be very careful when you're working on something like this because you've got extremely high direct direct current voltages which will kill you if you don't know what you're doing so anything like anything that involves work on valve amplifiers or any amplifier really if you don't know what you're doing, please take it to a uh, a professional, someone who does know what they're doing, because um, these <laughs> these voltages are extremely high. Sort of around here, these um, and and here around the power caps, you're looking at sort of um, between four and five hundred volts uh, DC. Um, so yeah, uh, this took me about three three months to design and build i had to import parts from various different countries to get it done but it did save me a lot of money because uh to, to get an, an original one of these is you know, uh, thousands of pounds i built this for about 400 pounds and it pretty much the same thing although it doesn't look very good admittedly um and uh yeah the other thing that i do this is my uh my Tokai Telecaster is my, this is the guitar I've had longest, it's completely smashed up, <laughs> it's uh, seen a lot of action. Um, so I basically rewired the pickups, um, so I've actually, I replaced the, the tele pickup with a strap pickup, this is a, a five way strap switch, and um, it's, it's got, I've also got a pull, uh, a pull push pot here. So basically, you've got a range of different um, uh, sonic colours that you can you can get. Um, so you can have the the pickups in series, so they act like a humbucker. Uh, you can have them in parallel, um, as they would be with the ordinary Telecaster, and then you can also this pull switch will will put them out of phase, so you can get a nice kind of glassy, stratty kind of sound um, by doing that. And then there is a, another function with that. I can't remember what that does exactly. I think it introduces some kind of capacitor, and it creates a nice sort of jazzy tone. Um, so yeah, I do I do kind of custom wirings for um, guitars as well. So yes. Uh, oh, and the other thing I, I forgot to mention with the uh, with the amplifiers that I do uh, 
valve uh, tube biasing which again is another job that you really need to know what you're doing because it's uh, very potentially very dangerous so um, that's another service that I can offer so yeah if you're interested in any of this of any of this stuff if you have any pedals that need fixing or if you want any modifications done or or if you want anything built um, or guitar rewired um, then give me a call uh, my website is uh, Tom Addy dot co dot uk so t o m a w d y dot co dot uk um and my phone number and contact details are, are on there um thank you very much bye bye